Everyone, it's one of the top five breeds that ends up in a shelter right behind labs and pit bulls, but suddenly on the smaller side, we're talking about chihuahuas. Our Susan Hobbs with awesome possibilities is here. She's brought along a few friends, including Martha Piercefield, who's president of the Rescue Chihuahua Indiana organization, and foster dad Daniel. So, folks, thanks for coming in today. Thank you for having us. Thank We're you so glad to have you. And I, I listed the humans here, but we have three little ones. We with do. Us. We do. We have um, Ruby. Ruby is a hospice dog. She has cancer. She was surrendered to animal care and control in very bad shape, mm -hmm. but uh, Chihuahua Rescue Indiana has taken her, gotten her fixed up as much as humanly possible, and she will live out the rest of her days. In a measure of comfort. Exactly, wow. exactly. And then we have Aphrodite. Who's uh, in the carrying little shoulder bag there. Yes, <laughs> uh, broken pelvis, picked up at animal care uh, services Tuesday, you said. Mm -hmm. And then we have Coco, Coco who oh. is a much overbred uh, mama chihuahua. So. And she's got some, some health issues as well. That, and that's the trend, of course, I'm seeing with some of these animals is, you know, these are obviously the dogs that are having a difficult time being adopted, mm -hmm. but even specifically, these are ones who definitely need somebody with a big heart. Right. right. Tell me a little about that as a foster dad, Daniel. What is it and like? And she's one of five dogs actually we have so far. So she, we have five chihuahuas back at home and it's very interesting her transformation over all of her time. Out shortly after surgery, within three days, she changed her personality completely. Mm -hmm. Now she's chasing our big Australian shepherd around mm. everywhere in the yard, steal his food. So she starts <laughs> with a typical feisty chihuahua that you actually see. So I think sure. it's important to give her a couple of really good, nice days. And what a powerful experience for you as well as for her to have just such a sweet place to, to live out the end of her days. Now, yeah, I see you smiling as you're doing this. Obviously, you love having foster yeah. parents take care of these dogs because this is big on your heart as well. Well, it's, it's heavy on my heart because um, we'd like to save them all. There's um, such an overburden of this particular breed as there are many breeds. Um, if it weren't for other small all breed rescues or other all volunteer rescues, mm -hmm. none of this would be possible. There's certainly a huge uh, call on the community to step up, take care of their animals, spay and neuter please, because that's huge. Um, if that isn't done, then we can't ever meet the challenge of taking care of these overpopulated animals. And the six, the sick ones, mm -hmm. the old ones, those are the ones that are especially needy. So right. if it weren't for wonderful people like Daniel, Susan, the other rescues, um, we couldn't do this. What would you like to challenge folks at home to do as they're watching this and it's touching their hearts as well? Um, the very first thing to do if you're considering getting a dog or a cat, Research your breed. One of the reasons these guys end up in shelters so often is because they're little, they're cute, mm -hmm. people think they're going to make wonderful pets for kids, mm -hmm. and many times they're not. Their, their, their personalities just aren't lent to uh, families like that. Mm -hmm. And the second thing, spay and neuter. Right. Always spay and neuter. Um, mm -hmm. That way we can cut way back on unwanted animals. So now I know you have a meet and greet event coming up as well. We put that info just up on the screen for is folks. Is it the 21st? Um, well, we tend to do uh, events the first, second, and third weekends of every month. The first and second weekends are in Avon at Specs and PetSmart, mm -hmm. and the third weekend is at the PetSmart in Greenwood. We do other events as um, just as they arise, the uh, um, opportunities arise. So just watch our website, chihuahuarescuein.org. Gotcha. Um, lots of opportunities for donations, ways to uh, volunteer, not just our rescue, but any rescue in need. Thank um, you so much for coming in and bringing these cute ones to kind of smile at the screen for us. <laughs> we'll, uh, we'll send it over to Brad Mousehart and I'm going to keep playing over here. There you go. <laughs> Thank you.